my name is Robert and I'm a watchmaker for Arlange and Söhne. When I look at classic cars, the first things I notice are the attention to detail and the incredible craftsmanship. I see handcrafted parts, shiny chrome, a beautiful wooden and leather interior and engines true to the original. We at Arlange and Söhne, we work on a completely different scale, but in a very similar way. Every single component within our movements will receive a dedicated hand finishing. It's interesting to know that 90% of our parts are finished purely for the aesthetics and 10% are finished for technical reasons, because we have to reduce friction. So let's dive together into our 1815 chronograph and we'll pick two very interesting parts out of there. We start with the chronograph clutch. The clutch will connect the main movement with the chronograph function by a push of a button and the clutch is operated by a column wheel. You might see one part. I see 11 different components and six different finishing techniques. We have a hand polished gold chaton. We have three thermically blued screws. We have a straight grinding on top on two layers. We have a circumferential grinding and anglage with inverted angles going around the clutch. We have a circular grinding on top and at the bottom of the connection wheel. And what we don't see, because we need a microscope for this, at the end of the very long arm, which is engaging into the column wheel, there we have three highly polished surfaces. And this is where we talk about the technical finishing. Basically, those three surfaces are responsible for lifting up the clutch, the clutch is gliding along the column, and for dropping into the column wheel again. And there we have a lot of friction points, and here we need to reduce the friction to prevent wear and damage. Now we move over to our second interesting part, our balance bridge. The balance bridge has a very special hand finishing, our hand engraving. We have five different engravers in Klaus Hütter and they all have a different handwriting, which will make the balance bridge very unique. So we have the hand engraving on top, we have a straight grinding on top, we have a circumferential grinding and anglage going around the bridge, we have perlage from underneath and on top at the end we will fit a hand polished swan neck regulation system. So like every classic car enthusiast is also taking care of the hidden spots of the car and of the underbody of the car, so do we at Arlang und Söhne. Every single component within our movement will receive this dedicated hand finishing. So when you look underneath the dial, underneath bridges, when you look into the hidden corners of the movement, you will find finished parts throughout the movement. The love for the detail, it doesn't matter if it's the beauty of the mechanism or the perfect finishing of every single surface. This is what unites the classic car collector and the watch collector. So if you have the chance, go to an Arlang und Söhne boutique, take a watch, take an eyeglass and dive through the glass case back into our movements and explore the mechanism and explore every single finishing technique in there. So thank you very much for listening and all the best.